Chapter 1 Swimming and Water Survival Introduction History does not record when swimming first began. Everybody knew that it is a very old skill, probably as old as man himself. Some scholars believe that man learned how to swim as a result of his accidental immersion in deep water, or perhaps man first learned to swim for survival. As early as 900 BC, there is evidence that man had the ability to swim as indication of pictures found on the wall of a cave people swimming. Through history, there is mention of batting for hygienic, military, and pleasurable purpose. It is believed that written instruction in swimming was first given in Egypt as early as 1600 BC. Babylonian bas reliefs and Assyrian wall drawings point to very early swimming skills among humans. The most ancient and famous of drawings depicting men swimming are to be found in a Kebir desert. They are estimated to be about 6,000 years old. The Nagoda bas relief also has paintings of swimmers that date back some 5,000 years. Many of the ancient drawings and paintings come from what is now Italy. The oldest date back 2,600 years, belonging to the Etruscans at Arcadia. An ancient tomb in Greece depicts swimming and diving scenes and dates back 2,500 years. Many of the world's ancient civilizations swam, including the Egyptians, the Phoenicians, Persians, Romans, and Greeks. Plato once declared that anyone who could not swim lacked a proper education, and Julius Caesar was for his swimming prowess. In the late 1920s and early 1930s, swimming was first included in college physical education. The University of the Philippines and the Philippines Women's University were the first schools to have swimming pool and make swimming as part of the curriculum. These schools help competitive swimming meets and competition gradually increase. On 1934, women have participated in every national championship. Since that time, Filipino women swimmers have consistently improved their records and have made very credible showing in Asian swimming competition. Classification of swimming strokes First are competitive strokes and second are survival or resting strokes. Competitive strokes Currently, the strokes for competitive swimming are the American or Australian crawl known as freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. Survival or resting strokes are elementary backstrokes, side stroke, and trajan stroke. The four competitive swimming strokes. Freestyle. Of all swimming strokes, the crawl or freestyle is the most popular, the fastest, most efficient stroke, and beginners find it the easiest to learn. The technique involved in the swimming stroke is pretty simple. Swimmers float on their belly in the water and propel themselves by rotating the arms in the windmill motion kicking the legs in a fluttering motion. The difficult part of the swimming technique is the coordination of the breathing. While performing the strokes, since the face remains in the water almost all the time. The crawl or freestyle swimming technique. The arm strokes. The arms should be moved alternatively in a rotating windmill type of motion. In order to swim in a straight line, each arm should be extended to full reach and pulled with equal force through the water. When under the water, the arm should be moved to form an S pattern. During recovery, while the hand should be cupped, the hand and the wrist should be relaxed. The leg movements. The legs are kicked alternatively in a fluttering motion. The knees should be bent slightly. The ankles and feet should be relaxed. For maximum propulsion, the downward kicking motion should be emphasized. How to breathe. The stroke is begun by raising one arm, and as the shoulder is raised, the head should be turned to the side to take a breath. Breaststroke. It is
is the oldest known swimming strokes. It is one of the four strokes used in competitive swimming, but it is also very popular for leisure swimming. In this stroke, the arms and legs move symmetrically. The breaststroke swimming technique, the arm strokes. The arm should be kept overhead when starting the stroke. Then, the arm should be brought towards the chest pulling on the water. The hands should be kept calm. Take the arms back to the starting position. The leg movements. The knees should be brought up to the chest. Then the legs should be thrust straight and backwards. The legs should be snapped together in order to push the water as well as propelling you forward, hanging to a frog kick. How to breathe. A breath should be taken each time an arm stroke is made. Butterfly stroke. In the variation of the breast stroke known as the butterfly, both arms are brought forward together over the water and then brought backward simultaneously. The movement of the arms is continuous and is accompanied by an undulating movement of the hips. The leg kick, called the dolphin kick, is a hip-like downward motion of the unseparated feet. The butterfly swimming technique. The arm strokes. The arm should be moved together, pulling through the water while the hands are kept calm. The palm should be faced outwards and pressed in a downward as well as outward movement. The leg movements. The knees should be kept together and slight bent. Then the knees thrusting movement while the feet are whipped downwards. For each arm stroke, two kicking movements should be performed. How to breathe. A breath should be taken at the culmination of each stroke of the arms. Back stroke. is essentially the crow stroke in its reverse form with the swimmer's head back turned to the water. Alternately, one arm is lifted, palm facing outward, from the leg and is brought up behind the head while the other arm pulls the body through the water. A flutter kick is used. It is similar to the crow except that the swimmer float on their back in the water. The arms are moved in a similar alternating windmill motion, and the legs are kicked in a fluttering motion. The two basic techniques of a backstroke are that the arms are moved with equal force for swimmers swimming off towards one side, that the body should be rolled from one side to the other, and the arms should be extended to their utmost reach for swimmers to propel forwards. The backstroke swimming technique, the arm strokes. The arms should be moved alternatively in a windmill pattern of movement as they are rotated. The hand should be cupped. When it comes out of the water, the thumb should come out first. When under the water, the arm should be moved to form an S pattern. The leg movements. Like in the curl, the legs are kicked in a fluttering motion alternatively. The knees are bent slightly. Cuffs and feet should be relaxed. However, unlike the crawl, for maximum propulsion, the upward kicking motion should be emphasized. How to breathe? The head should be kept facing up. Since the head is out of the water all the time, the breathing need not be as coordination with the strokes of the arms or legs compared to other swimming strokes. Hence, you can devise a pattern of breathing that you find most comfortable. The three survival or resting strokes. Glide stroke. The safety stroke all lifeguards must master but also offers recreations, swimmers, more variety in underwater, movement and for survival rescue. It's a swimming stroke wherein the swimmer lies on one side. It is helpful as a life-saving technique and is often used for long-distance suit. Trajan stroke. A combination of side and freestyle swimming style for survival swimming. A swimming stroke sometimes known as the racing stroke or the East Indian stroke. It named after the English John Trajan, 1852 to 1902. Elementary backstroke is a swim stroke that expends minimal energy with simple arm and leg movements. This backstroke doesn't require any complicated breathing technique since the swimmer's head never goes underwater.